For as long as humans have gazed into the night sky, we have wondered about life beyond the Earth. Scientists now know that several places in our solar system might have conditions suitable for life. One of these is Jupiter's moon Europa, a fascinating world with a salty, subsurface ocean of liquid water, possibly twice as much as in all of Earth's oceans combined. However, scientists had not confirmed if Europa's ocean contained biologically essential chemicals, particularly carbon, the universal building block for life as we know it. Now, using the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have found carbon on Europa's surface, which likely originated in this ocean. The discovery signals a potentially habitable environment in the ocean of Europa. The James Webb Space Telescope has identified carbon dioxide originating from the salty liquid oceans of Jupiter's icy moon Europa. Scientists have been aware for some time that oceans of water lie beneath the icy shell of Europa, but did not know if these oceans had the right chemistry to support life. Thus, the discovery of carbon a vital element in living things from this subsurface ocean on one of Jupiter's moons has important implications for the potential habitability of this moon and is a testament to the groundbreaking science being made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope. Even more exciting, the team was able to use observations made in infrared with the JWST's near-infrared spectrograph NUSPEC, instrument to determine that the carbon molecules were not delivered to Europa via meteorite impacts or other external sources. The JWST observed that the carbon dioxide around Europa the smallest of the four large Galilean moons of Jupiter, is most abundant in a geologically young region called Tara Regio. Surface ice has been disrupted at this so-called chaos terrain area, indicating that material has been exchanged between Europa's icy surface and its subsurface ocean. Previous observations from the Hubble Space Telescope show evidence for ocean-derived salts in Tara Regio. Now we're seeing that carbon dioxide is heavily concentrated there as well. This implies that the carbon probably has its ultimate origin in the internal ocean. The detection of carbon dioxide on Europa will be slightly bittersweet for Vilon Weber and his team, who were also using the JWST to hunt for plumes of matter erupting from the surface of the Jovian moon, something the powerful space telescope failed to see. The plumes were tentatively detected in 2013, 2016, and 2017, and the fact the JWST failed to confirm their existence doesn't mean they aren't present around Europa. There is always a possibility that these plumes are variable, and that you can only see them at certain times. Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy JWST interdisciplinary scientist Heidi Hamill said, all we can say with 100% confidence is that we did not detect a plume at Europa when we made these observations with the JWST. Nevertheless, the observation of carbon dioxide on Europa is a testament to the power and utility of the James Webb Space Telescope. But what do I know? Beyond the Blue